What do raves and clean energy have in common? The answer is Tesla, specifically the Gigafactory Berlin, Tesla's latest manufacturing plant, which is currently under construction in Germany. According to Tesla, the Gigafactory Berlin Brandenburg will be the most advanced high volume electric vehicle production plant in the world. If you're still wondering how raves are involved in any of that, Elon Musk plans to have a rave cave underneath the Gigafactory. In March 2020, Elon Musk had his followers vote on whether Tesla should have a mega rave cave under the Berlin Gigafactory, and over 90% said yes. Make sure to hit the subscribe button for a year of good luck so you will never miss any of our future videos. Tesla plans for the manufacturing plant to produce batteries and assemble Model Y cars as soon as they launch, producing other components like powertrains and battery packs for the vehicles. Besides that, the plant has provision for storage of solar and wind power as a means of sustainability. The factory will have the ability to produce up to 100 gigawatt hours per year, which would make it the world's largest battery producing company. A single gigawatt can power up to 300,000 homes, and according to Elon Musk, he and his team once calculated how much power would be needed to transition the entire world to sustainable energy. Apparently, it would take as much power as could be produced by 100 gigafactories. The location and plans for the Gigafactory Berlin, also known as Gigafactory 4, or Giga Berlin, were announced in November 2019 at the Das Goldin Lenkrad Award show by Elon Musk. Several European countries were hoping to host the Giga Berlin because of the significant impact it could have on their economy, but Germany won in the end. Construction began in early 2020. Brandenburg, the state where the factory is to be located, has the highest production of green energy per citizen in Germany. Elon Musk has made his admiration for Germany when it comes to clean energy clear. Because the state is already involved in clean energy production, there are already a significant number of qualified workers in the area, which can only be good news when you're hiring thousands of people. And there is also space for expansion at that location. Living costs are also low enough, even though the pay is going to be insane. Elon Musk has also said before that there are too many MBAs, and he doesn't care if you have a degree or not, and an ability to learn is a better advantage when applying for the job. The factory is supposed to be built in just 18 months, because according to the elongated muskrat, humanity needs to make a move to sustainable energy as soon as possible. A faster transition to renewable energy dramatically reduces the extent of damage done to the planet. And of course, the quicker the factory is built, the faster it can start production and turn some massive profits. Elon Musk wasn't joking about the time either, and he cleared the land of pine trees, laid down the foundation, and put out advertisements for thousands of jobs in under six months. Shanghai built the fastest gigafactory though, in about a year. China is excellent with rapid construction. Unfortunately for Tesla, it wasn't all smooth sailing. The construction has had some hiccups, and there are reports of a six-month delay, which will mean the company won't be open for manufacture until 2022. There were locals in opposition out of fear for their ecosystem, but DW reported in February that Tesla won court approval to clear the forest for their gigafactory. The court rejected the complaints of environmental activists who argued it would affect wildlife and water supply in favor of Tesla. Moreover, it wasn't really a forest, but a pine plantation for cardboard instead and Tesla already has compensation plans. Tesla doesn't have a final permit yet, but they can still build according to specific provisions in German law, like a public interest in the early construction of the site. Elon Musk told reporters in September 2020 that he was confident that Giga Berlin would be the most environmentally friendly factory in the world, and it would reach that goal by recycling as much as humanly possible. We all know sustainability is in Tesla's heart. The factory will try to be as sustainable as possible by relying on sustainable energy, like wind, solar, and even geothermal energy. The excess heat from production will be used to heat the factory during the winter months, probably by converting it to another form for long-term storage. These sorts of innovations could become the norm in the future if more companies make sustainability a priority, like Tesla does. Tesla usually has outrageous plans, and their gigapresses are no exception. The IDRA Group supplies the vast machines, Italian die-cast markers, and is the largest to be built in the world. They can give up to 600,000 newtons of clamping force and weigh 430 tons, a transporter's nightmare. Usually, the car chassis is welded and bolted from numerous parts. With the Gigapress, Tesla plans to mold the chassis. In January 2018, Elon Musk tweeted, With our giant casting machines, we are trying to make full-size cars in the same way that toy cars are made. Toy cars are made of plastic, so they don't require so much force to cast the entire chassis as one piece, whereas real-life vehicles would need a lot more force. Hence, the Gigapress. The Gigapress works by forcing molten metal into a reusable mold, 
then removing the finished piece upon cooling. Tesla plans to use the Gigapress to cast their Model Y chassis and their Cybertruck chassis. Why so much trouble for a Gigapress? Well, it's faster. A new cycle of molding can begin within just one to two minutes after the previous cycle completes, which means more cars are produced faster. This will help Tesla in achieving its goal of a 50% increase in production. A Gigapress will also cut down on costs, with the chassis cost going down by 40%. Even space is saved despite the large sizes of the Gigapress, and it also means fewer robots, less work for the maintenance team. Elon Musk says that the Gigapress has eliminated the work of over 300 robots. Apparently, robots are competing for relevancy just like humans. When it comes to the actual manufacture of cars, it will collaborate with humans and robots. There are robots in all of Tesla's Gigafactories, and Berlin will take it a step further. From humble transport robots to gigantic arms to move cars, with humans to pay attention to details. The process could even be 90% automated, but they wouldn't be planning on hiring thousands of employees if humans weren't needed. Adding robots to the assembly line also comes with its problems, though. They often break down, and according to Musk in an interview with the YouTuber Marcus Brownlee, the more complicated the robot is, the worse the complications when it breaks down. He even cited the example of a medium-sized robot that broke down and crashed. It broke a piece of equipment that had to have a replacement be flown in. An accident like that also causes a loss of money as production is halted and delayed. This calls for advanced robot technicians to be on site 24-7 to take care of any problems as soon as possible. Although the Gigafactory Berlin was originally to be a battery-producing plant, it is now aimed to produce 500,000 Model Y cars per year. These SUVs will have a core structural design change, according to Elon Musk. Tesla has a new battery design that will be more than 50% cheaper to produce with a new technique that will first be tried out and tested in Giga Berlin. Model Y will be the first to use the latest battery technology. Maybe the Giga Berlin might even end up being the production site of the $25,000 Miracle Tesla. Some tech enthusiasts believe that the mass-produced, cheaper version Teslas will gain some serious popularity since they'll be more affordable to run and maintain, despite being sold at the same price as fossil fuel-powered cars. Whatever it is, Tesla is revolutionizing the automotive industry as we know it. That's the end of our video for today. If there is anything we left out or anything you would like us to discuss, feel free to leave it in the comments section below and I would be glad to respond to that. See you next time. Bye.